Hi, uh, welcome back again. All right. Very good morning to everyone. All right, those who are watching this video. Uh, so, uh, right, this is the fourth part of the video uh, for this web part end to end uh, not automation. So, in the first uh, first part, we created a framework, basic framework. In the second part of the video, we created library class and the reusable class. Third part of the video, we wrote a simple script right of searching this text box with a mobile and just searching clicking the search button and getting this right this whole page is displayed or not we check with this right one method called is displayed okay now the fourth part of the video what we are going to do is right we are going to write extract all these data right the result part the result part extract all these data and print in the console. I am also planning to take this third uh, right, uh, right uh, result only and print in console. So as a part of a test case, I am going to extract all the details, the result set complete, the result set, and print in console. And I am going to just take this third part and I am going to print it. Okay. So let's go back to the video go back to the eclipse okay let's go and write a write a scenario now new scenario now oh, we'll we'll continue with this theme okay let's continue the same okay now now after the result is displayed okay after the result is displayed what we do is we need to extract then we'll go for extraction here okay then what we'll do is we'll type extract okay extract the results and print in console extract the results and print in console okay now next i'm going to add another one just print the third result in the console. I'm going to add another step. Print the third result and keep it in console. And keep it in a result and, and, and keep it in, in the console. Right. So this steps will generate by running the Cucumber Future file. Okay. Now what we do is we'll copy these two steps, right? Two methods, and we'll create go to the same step definition okay we'll scroll down and we'll paste here okay now we'll paste here okay okay now we'll remove the right and wanted steps okay so now the logic here is right if you go to the flip card right what happens we have to get all the list of all the results and keep it somewhere, store it somewhere, and retrieve it and just wait, right? So we have to keep that everything in a list, right? We'll keep it in a list, right? In a reference, we'll store it, right? And we'll right loop it, then we'll bring it in a console. That is a plan. Okay, got it? Okay. Now let's go to the Eclipse. We'll go to the selenium reusable method class, whatever we added. We'll add a method here. We are, as I told you, we are going to expand this class whenever we need it, right, in the project. Okay. So let's create another method here public void, multiple get text. Okay. Then write. Then we'll, we'll, we'll create, right? What we'll do is we, are, we need to write 
just keep it everything at this right store it in the reference and then i use it right so for that we'll add this web element okay what text we need so we'll add you text i'll give text there text equal to element So that's that I'll pass there, element I'll pass there. Okay, I'll return some element. So I'll import the Java util package there. Okay, then I'll give this out, then I'll print the size of that. Okay, so I'll give text dot size. So what happens now if I give size method? What happens? It extracts all the data and write stores in text. Right then, if I give size, it gives the total number of the all the data. Okay. Now what I do is we have to print it. Right. Then now for that, I create and print it. For that, I use for each code. Okay. I give returns right web element. Okay. Then I give I give a count. Right. So I give a reference right text count. Right. Colon text so what happens all the text will be passed to text count okay then what happens i i want to print it right all the text right i want to give use get text method and print that okay so i'll give total list it's, it should be a string total list equal to text count dot get text what happens it get extract everything get the text and store in total list right then i'll print the list For identification purpose, right? I will name. I'll put a star here. Okay. Okay. Now what happens? No. Uh, right. We 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 right create a method here. Now what I'll do is I'll create another method. As I told you, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to extract all the data and keep in a console, and I'm going to extract a particular right a data and keep. Like for example, I told right third row I want it. Right, I want the third result. Right, I want only this. Right, I want all, and I also want only the third thing to print. So I'm giving a two right right two demo here. One is to extract everything and to extract a particular row only. Okay, let's go on do it. Public void, right? Get value. Okay, now we'll give web element. Okay. Web element, element. Okay. Now what I'll do is right, I'll import that package. Okay. Now I'll give right. I want to get the text right. So what I what I'll do is I'll give string text equal to element dot text. Get text. I'll use the get text method to get the particular right. Value and printed. For that, I'll give this out the particular reference for what I created. Right? This out. Okay. Now, let's go to the pages. So, now what we did is we create a feature file in that we added steps. 
and we copy generate the methods and paste the step definition and we create a reusable method also right now we want to go to pages okay now we want to pages then locate that particular element right whatever right we want right so now the idea is i want to extract everything for that according to that i should take an x path now okay so for extracting everything based on x everything the entire thread i need to extract uh, get an x path now okay let's so we have added separately uh, right videos for getting a uh, right x path different right ways of handling x path like contain stars right following siblings right receding right uh contains link text uh, right by attribute tag name right uh then uh, right different right at text by different way dynamic relative right everything we have added and operator or right so we have done different x path a separate video you can follow us a channel and you can see those right different ways of handling and expand okay let's go now till now right i right, just give me a moment So I have to write an X path now, which captures right the entire cell. So that's the basic idea here. Okay, I'll have taken X path now. Okay, so which is going to capture the entire set. So you can see, right, 24 matches here. So it's going to uh, take the 24 rows here. There is a 24 result sets which is there. Okay, you can see, right, if I uh, just keep a down arrow, it just is able to locate all those elements. <coughs> okay, now let's copy this X path and I'll add at point by. X path equal to and I'll paste the value. Then I'll import that at find by okay. I'll import it in a single quotes. Okay. Now now let's I'll I'll create a reference right and it should be very well. And I keep it in a list. Rep element. Entire, entire result. Entire result. Okay. Now I import it. Import the web element. Okay. Now right. So what happened? I did this one. Okay. Now let's go and create a method here. Okay. I print the entire list. I print the entire list. Entire result. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll I'll use the particular object, right? Yes. D e dot. Okay multiple get text and the entire result. Okay. Now also we'll uh, do for this one particular uh, where, right, uh, right, where result, right? For example, I need only third one. For that also, we'll take an X path here.
Huh. It's able to locate now. One off one match, it's able to locate now. I just took a copy expat and it's able to match it. Okay. Now I'll go same thing and do at find by expat equal to and I'll change it to double force, single force. Now Web element. Third result. Okay. Public void. Third result. Okay, now give SC dot get value. Okay, then I'll give the third result of this, right? Whatever I create. Okay. Now what we'll do is I'll go to step definition, okay, and I'll call that particular method sp dot then ten type result. Next uh, and and that next one sp dot print third result. Now let's run the code. We should get both, and we'll use this out also. Now let's run the code. Okay, now let's go to the console. Now we can see, right, the entire result we got. Right, we got the entire result. Okay, so this we got, we extracted all the result from the Flipkart application. We got, right? So this is how we do it, right? And we got the total count here, right, 24. And we got the entire and result we got. It. Okay, so this is how we do. Okay, so this is one test case, and we have the last you see, right? The third one is also really private. Got it? So, hope all right. This video is useful to many. All right, thanks for watching. You can, all right, as I told you, we are going to play, we are planning for the most of we are going to activate more test cases in the flip part right in future. Uh, right in with the extent report attaching screenshot all right uh, running in jenkins right pipeline also okay slowly continue watch us this uh, right series of videos okay hope uh, it's useful for many thank you